Welcome back to the 23 Morning Blend. We've got Amber Pinnon from Winnebago County Animal Services joining us. And who's our friend this morning, Amber? It's Judd. And Judd was a little nervous coming in, so he's warming up to it. Like but he likes Judd. the camera. He likes the microphone. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, he was brought in as a stray. He was a little scared when he first came to the shelter, but now he's like a staff and volunteer favorite. Everybody likes to meet Judd. He just hasn't gotten a home yet. So we're hoping that we can find him a home. He seems pretty exuberant and yeah. friendly here. Huh? He's a little shy in the beginning, so he might do like a little bit of a bark, but his tail wags. You could tell he wants to make friends. He just needs somebody to give him a minute first. Okay. And uh, is he somewhat well behaved? Is he becoming a little bit more well yeah. behaved? Yeah, volunteers are working with him. He takes treats pretty good. We're just working on jumping up to say hello, which is a common thing that we work on with a lot of dogs. And so he is really excited to be right up in your lap. He thinks he's a lap dog. So he just needs a little manners that way. How, uh, how old do we figure Judd is? We think Judd's about two years old. Okay. Hello. And he's in good, good physical shape and he's healthy. Yes, yeah, he looks really good. He's been doing really fantastic at the shelter. So um, we think that he's ready to find his home. He's neutered, up to date on vaccinations, microchips. So he's one of our ready to go dogs. All right, uh, all right, that's Judd. Judd, Judd, from Andy? look at, look what I oh, got for so you. Nice. There you go. That's so nice. Good boy. Yeah, you that's can lick, so you nice. can, you can lick the plate clean. That's go good ahead. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. You're so brave. <laughs> <laughs> now I like the coloring there. Yeah, it, he's got a unique look to him, and his coat is like really thick and cute. He's kind of stubby, so people really, he, um, if you look at our picture on our website, he's got like a nice toothy grin that he has in his picture. So I think that he's really got something special. Ooh, that website, by the way, is winnebagoanimals.org. You yes, can not sir. only see Judd, but you can see uh, other dogs and cats and, that are available for adoption now. Yes. Uh, anything special going on? I not know you currently. cleared out a bunch of dogs a couple weeks ago. Yeah, instead of being at like critical capacity, now we're just kind of at capacity. So okay. it's better than, than nothing, but we're still hoping to find lots of great dogs' homes, especially as we're heading into the busy season where we're going to have quite a large intake of animals come in. Well, it is a uh, yeah, spring, and that's a busy season mm -hmm. at Easter. Or do you have any Easter bunnies available? We do not right now, oh, um, no. which is a good thing. <laughs> so I think there's been a lot of great education for people to know that it's more important to buy a rabbit or to uh, adopt a rabbit for better reasons than it just being Easter. So it may be a reason why it's on your mind, but you want to make sure you do all the education ahead of time. So I think there's been a lot of better uh, education on that now. What, what uh, I, know, I know we got a dog here today, but what are some tricks if some families are saying, well, a, a rabbit's a nice introductory pet. Yeah. It doesn't work as an introductory pet for a family. I think it can be. I think it's just about making sure you do the research. So rabbits really aren't necessarily caged pets, even though people can sometimes look at them that way. Lots of times people will set up like a whole corner and a room for them with a playpen, and that can be a really great option, and it's easier to clean, easier to take care of, and the rabbit's healthier with more space. They, you're not supposed to keep them in a cage? Not you know, necessarily, okay. unless it's a very large cage. So they, it's with, with guinea pigs, rabbits, and small animals, they often need more space than what you would get necessarily the first cage you might buy at the pet store. Yeah. So it's important to do the research, really reach out to experts or online to make sure you know what the amount of space that they should have. Okay. Hello. Judd, Judd doesn't look all that Hello. nervous anymore. He's getting better. He's, a, he's all real comfortable. You're getting better now. He was like, this lady took me out of the kennel, so I really like her, but I'm going to need a minute just to get used to other people, but not so bad. The, with the treat, he did great with you. Why, why do dogs tend to get nervous when they all of a sudden are loaded, or got to get into a car? Some dogs, not yes. all. Yeah. Is it because usually when they get in a car, they're going to the vet, it that could, kind of thing? It could be. Also, too, they're a little more sheltered than we are. We're going out to work every day in the grocery store and running around everywhere, whereas dogs aren't really necessarily always getting that chance to go explore. So new things like that can be a little bit nervous bracking so they're working on it day by day okay you good boy are you, huh? are, you, are you out of treats are you, i you're... am out of treats uh oh judd this I is am. a big test we can't bribe you anymore so judd is available and you said he, he's spayed neutered yeah he's neutered up to date on vaccinations microchips he's one of our dogs that are ready to go and so you can adopt him and that makes room for another pet need in our community and once again, microchipping is something you do on a yes. regular basis. Yeah, we do that for all the animals that come into our building. So even strays before they leave are microchipped, and that's just st st statute or ordinance. And so that helps a lot of the pets in Winnebago County go back home when they're chipped. And if you have a 
dog or cat. Can you micro? You can microchip cats, right? We don't do that at our facility. You can always talk to your vet, or they have microchip clinics or PetSmart and things like that. Maybe have a microchip clinic. But we definitely think it's a huge help in helping an animal get back home. That and tags. So that way, no, if somebody doesn't even have a scanner, they can look right at a collar and tag and get them right home. Oh yeah, the old school dog yeah, tag yeah. thing. Where do, where do you get those anymore? You, you know? can go to PetSmart, Petco. They've yeah. got them all everywhere. Yeah. So that's a good start. But uh, it is, uh, yeah, that's the. Uh, the microchip also, though, just as long as you make sure you keep up your yes. address. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. We get a lot of microchips that are not up to date. Um, they might have been rehomed to a different person. So you want to make sure anytime you have a pet, you want to know if it's microchipped. You want to make sure that, that that information is up to date so that way we can it can do its job and get that dog, dog or cat back home to you. All right, let's get a home for Judd here Good this boy. week. Judd, you, you, you're doing well. Come here, Judd. I got nothing for you, but you can come here anyway. Still good. Yeah, you got, you got, you don't want any of that. Okay. (laughs) All right. Good boy. Judd is our Winnebago County Animal Services Pet of the Week. Oh, he's shaking hands. Well, and I'm, I. This is actually my first time with Judd, so it just goes to tell you that it doesn't take much to be on Judd's good side. He's just happy I took him out of his kennel. So if you took Judd home, he'd really love you. Yeah, (laughs) it sounds like it. Good boy. Yeah, Judd. Judd's the pet of the week this week. If you want to stop by Winnebago County Animal Services. You can always begin the adoption process by filling out the uh, adoption form. You can get it at winnebagoanimals.org. And you can also take a look at some of the uh, uh, other animals that are available. Yes. Maybe Judd isn't your thing, but something else might, there might be your thing. But who wouldn't like a dog like Judd? I know. Huh? He's, he'll shake on it. He'll be a good boy for you, and he'll even shake on it. All right. Thank you, Judd. Good boy. Thank you, Amber. WinnebagoAnimals.org, better yet, stop by in person and see what they have to offer this week. We'll be right back.